Monday, February 12, 2024, Daily Bread. Title, Listen and Be Wise. Proverbs chapter 23, verses 19 to 35. Key verse 19. Listen, my son, and be wise, and set your heart on the right path. Proverbs chapter 23, verses 19 to 35, NIV. Listen, my son, and be wise, and set your heart on the right path. Do not join those who drink too much wine, or gorge themselves on meat. For drunkards and gluttons become poor, and drowsiness clothes them in rags. Listen to your father who gave you life, and do not despise your mother when she is old. Buy the truth and do not sell it. Wisdom, instruction, and insight as well. The father of a righteous child has great joy. A man who fathers a wise son rejoices in him. May your father and mother rejoice. May she who gave you birth be joyful. My son, give me your heart and let your eyes delight in my ways. For an adulterous woman is a deep pit and a wayward wife is a narrow well. Like a bandit, she lies in wait and multiplies the unfaithful among men. Who has woe? Who has sorrow? Who has strife? Who has complaints? Who has needless bruises? Who has bloodshot eyes? Those who linger over wine, who go to sample bowls of mixed wine. Do not gaze at wine when it is red, when it sparkles in the cup, when it goes down smoothly. In the end, it bites like a snake and poisons like a viper. Your eyes will see strange sights and your mind will imagine confusing things. You will be like one sleeping on the high seas, lying on top of the rigging. They hit me, you will say, but I'm not hurt. They beat me, but I don't feel it. When will I wake up so I can find another drink? Daily Bread First, set your heart on the right path. When we go on road trips, we always check the GPS. In fact, we frequently glance over to check our progress and make sure we're going the right way. We should be doing the same thing with our life. Are you heading in the right direction? Are you moving closer to God or taking a detour away from Him? When using GPS, you have to make the effort to set up where you want to go and intentionally obey the directions. In the same way, we need to make specific goals for our spiritual life and obey God's word to lead us there. Whether we want to develop our prayer life, spiritual leadership, or overcome sinful habits, it takes a clear decision to set our heart on the right path to follow God. Spiritual growth never happens by accident. We have to be intentional. Second, buy the truth and do not sell it. Pastor John Piper once gave a message warning a group of 40,000 college students not to buy the American dream. He boldly pleaded, don't waste your life. Don't waste your life. The world tries selling a vision of comfort, success, and pleasure, but it's an empty promise. Behind the image of the American dream is dissatisfaction and disappointment. Still, many people waste their lives chasing what they think will make them happy. Are you chasing empty dreams or God's eternal purposes? Verse 23 says, Buy the truth and do not sell it. Wisdom, instruction, and insight as well. Here's the truth. We were made far more than what this world offers. We only have one life, and it's our choice what we're going to do with it. 
We can pursue worldly things and reach dead ends or seek wisdom, instruction, and insight through the Bible so that we can really discover what God's purpose for our life is. In God's purpose is where we find our true happiness and fulfillment. Prayer, Lord, please help me examine where my life is headed. I want my life to be filled with spiritual meaning and purpose, so I choose to follow you and obey your word. One word, set my heart on the right path.